We do have something very, very exciting now. I'm just trying to get around because they are moving, but it's going to be super cool to see these guys because this is absolutely out of the blue and no way that I thought we would see them. But there in front, you see the white tail and big ears of a wild dog that is busy running straight southwards. Now, we're going to try and keep up. It looks like just one wild dog. No, there's five of them. There we go. So these are a breakaway split from the Mbali pack, I believe. But they are going towards Torchwood and Chitwa. But how cool is that, guys? What an epic surprise. I'm so excited that we got to see them. I didn't think we would. And so going up towards Cheetah Cutline and Leadwood was a perfect idea. And Vildi spotted them from quite far away. There's actually a tawny eagle that's busy following them. So it's a really cool relationship to see. The dogs are trotting and the tawny eagle keeps flying from tree to tree following them. I mean, they know that the dogs are often successful and so hopefully they're going to get some food. Now, I do need to obviously call this in because it's going to be of interest to a lot of people and we are going to cross onto another area and I don't want someone to catch me with the dogs thinking that I haven't called them in because it is a sighting of interest. Uh, station just located the dogs, uh, five wild dogs, mobile south on Cheetah Cut Line from Ledwood towards Gari, Maine. Uh, they're going to be crossing probably the next few minutes. So well, that's the one radio channel that we've just done. Now we've got to do the other channel, which is the guys on the other side, because we're about to cross the boundary onto Chitwa. So it might get quite busy, but, well, it's still going to be an epic morning. Hopefully they run down towards Chitwa Dam. Lots of impalas and waterbuck not too far from where we are now. They look like they're still on the hunt. They're trotting. Bellies are quite big. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see them going. This station, just an update. Uh, wild Dogs, Mobile South, Cheetah Cut Line, uh, about to hit Gary, Maine. Um, one station on lock. Now, how cool is this? So where they're running, we just came from there now and there was impalas and there was lots and lots of baby waterbuck. So I wonder if they're not going to hunt those. Hopefully they do. If they do hunt and they must run down towards Chippa Dam because that'll just be absolutely perfect because they'll end up then chasing things towards the water and sometimes then they go in the water and there's this epic kind of struggle around the water for this animal and then the crocodiles get involved and it's all really quite epic and full of Listen. So that is something that is incredibly special that you very seldom hear. It's called a who call and that's this pack trying to find the rest of the pack. So they're calling trying to hear where the others are and it's a seldom heard sound so that is incredibly special to hear. Now a lot of people often ask what is the sound the wild dogs make? That's the sound right there. So they make a who call, they don't bark, they make this much higher pitched sound than a barking sound but how special is that? To hear that is very cool. It's been a long long time since I've heard a wild dog who call so cool we're being absolutely spoiled by hearing that right let's get down and just try and catch up with them a little bit but they are heading straight towards Chitwa it's obviously going to be interesting because if they head even remotely to the west we can't follow them that goes on to Little Gauri but if they head south oh no don't go that way go south 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 no, nope, they're going, seems as though they're going to go straight over the road. Yes, go down towards the dam. That's better. So they are heading slowly towards the dam, which is fantastic news. It's also great because our signal there is really strong. So we should be able to keep up with the dogs for quite some time, which is absolutely epic. How cool is this though? Trotting around with wild dogs in the morning is the best way to spend a Sunday morning. Now they might have a little drink here. There's a bit of water. I don't even know if there is any water left, but let's have a look. They might go and have a bit of a drink. It's not very nice water that they're looking at but let's check no I think they've decided that that's not very good water at all Rain Ranko, you say that call was amazing. You thought it was a bird. I know. How incredible was that? Eh? Very cool to see. And it's not something that you hear very often. Like I say, I can't even remember the last time. Nice. Now, peeing in the water. Lovely. So, so poor animal that comes next to drink this. Are you going to drink it as well? Yes, you are. That's just typical wild dog right there. <laughs> Sometimes can be another story altogether. But... <laughs> <laughs> the poor animal that comes and drinks next is not going to know what hit it. But how oh, cool. I'm so excited. This is epic. Now, they are trotting onto Little Gauri, so we're not going to be able to stay with them for much longer. I do need to let the other guys know because, obviously, I can't follow them. 
If any station can copy me, these uh, dogs are at uh, JC Brink Pan. They're now mobile southwest. Uh, looks like they might cross into Little Gari. Still one station on lock. So just quickly had to just let the guys know and just so that if they do want to come that they can come and join us. But they seem as though they've got quite round bellies, so it's almost like they might have had a meal at some point, so maybe a small meal, nothing too major, but maybe something small, and now it's time to carry on. It could be why the tawny eagle found them in the first place, is that they were busy feeding, and that's why the tawny eagle is kind of following in behind, but it's not a massive amount of food that's inside there. Now back north we go. Are you going to go back to your pee puddle and go and drink? Yes. There we go. How cool is this? Are you going to lie down for us? And this is a common thing that you see wild dogs and hyenas do. I've seen it many times from both of them. I think it lay on a little terrapin. That's why it ended up getting back up again because I saw something move in the actual water itself. Now, I don't know if there is a little terrapin in there, but there seems like something's moving. So I think a little terrapin gave it a nip when it sat on top of it. And that's what it up and ran it again. <laughs> but I think that's it. We're going to you can see they're crossing. This is the boundary with Little Gauri right here. So we can park on the verge of this grass, but our view of the dogs is going to be gone in the next two minutes. So we'll just watch them as they trot off into the distance. What a pleasant surprise. And to hear them who calling, to see them as nicely as we have, is really quite special. So even though it's a short but sweet sighting, it is epic to see. And, well... Why wouldn't you want to see wild dogs? They're such funny animals. They've got so many little idiosyncrasies about them and little kind of nuances that really are quite fun to watch. So I always enjoy spending time with the dogs. And there we go. Off they trot into the distance. And that's the last we're going to see of those big ears as they go. There we go. Jamie, you're asking how far who call can be heard by other wild dogs. Well, it depends on a lot of factors. I mean, it obviously depends on the terrain and vegetation and, and various other types of things. But from what I understand, and I, I'll double check it with the, the researchers, but as far as I understand, they pick it up from about three kilometers, three to four kilometers away. So that's about as much as they can pick it up. It's not as loud as something like a lion's roar or even a leopard saw, but it's still, it's, it's apparently it carries quite far for some reason. And so there's a situation where it does carry quite well and, and so it's you know they do hear it from quite far away but they I think they need to head further north unfortunately now I just need to tell these guys where they've gone they've unfortunately run into Little Gari so they've drifted into Little Gari just gone straight like that but maybe just take the chip cut line maybe they turn back they up and down quite a bit uh, okay. yeah. Go yeah I'm just going to go around into Gari main and just see if they come out cool cheers guys so also, our channel, our radio channel in this particular part of the world is very difficult. We don't really hear very well, so it's better that I just communicate with somebody in face-to-face -face that they can at least understand and be able to then tell everybody else exactly what's going on. But I don't think those dogs are going to come back to an area that we can drive, unfortunately. I'm just going along a little bit just to see if maybe they've turned back north. But given that they've come from directly north of where we are, chances of them heading back this way is very, very slim unless another dog dog started to hook all that would then definitely drive them here or they bumped into an animal and they chased it back to the northwards but that was a super special surprise and not something that we expected at all it was really very cool to see so well done Vildi good job you've earned your breakfast this morning Vildi we'll feed you today and we'll put it out oh wow what breakfast do you want I'll have to radio camp to to get a an order in for VM for spotting us the wild dogs regular bacon and eggs you get dibs on the leopard cup. Okay, perfect. So VM wants the leopard cup. So those of you at camp, do not touch VM's leopard cup. He's deserved it by spotting wild dogs this morning. So no sign of the dogs trotting this way. I'm just scanning and looking. It's quite dense here, and, and the direction that they were heading is more in a sort of southerly direction, and so I don't think that they're going to end up popping out this way at all. And I don't think they're going to head to Chitra Dam either. They were kind of angling a little bit too far west to head towards Chitra Dam. They needed to go a little bit further southwards in order to head that direction. 
direction. But oh well, like I say, wonderful surprise and not something we expected to see. So uh, the last update I got on the wild dogs, and earlier someone was asking about the dogs and where they were, the last was that they were on the Buffelsuk Manuleti boundary going north and that they'd crossed into Manuleti. So they've gone a long way during the night and they've ended up coming all the way back the way that they went last night. So that was nice at least, worth checking.